Hey there guys and welcome back to Prototype. In the last episode, Alex saved his girlfriend from her ex-girlfriend from the clutch of the military, and now she's gonna help us out. We know a few things about the outbreak. There are two genetic strains at work. I need samples from both types to be able to treat it. First, you're going to have to locate samples from infected water towers, and then collect samples from a full-blown hive. The water towers are prevalent in these areas. Get there, destroy them, and collect the material. Then head uptown and get the material from the hive. Whatever's happening here, this is only the beginning. And that doesn't really help explain anything that has been going on so far. But maybe once we finish collecting the genetic material, some answers will be given. And yeah, a little snack for on the road. I need to heal up a little. Health is not completely maxed out. So, running, running, and car flip. That was beautiful. Worthy of Olympic gold. Oh, okay, slightly delayed on the explosion there. Thought I was gonna touch down. Oh yeah, Alex scores the winning goal against the New York Knicks. Or whatever the New York... American football team is called. I swear to God, I have no idea. If you ask me to name any American football team, I will be completely drawing blanks. Then again, if I ask any of you Americans watching this to name what is that? a soccer team from my country, I'm pretty sure you're going to be drawing blanks exactly the same. Anyway, here we go, infected water towers. Those creepy purple gorilla things are in there. And if you take too long to destroy them, the gorilla things come out and you have to fight them. Luckily, I was smart enough to buy the hammer fist, which means that I can just smash, smash. Problem solved. However, if you don't have the hammer fist at this point, you might run into a bit of trouble. Because I'm pretty sure that if you try it, whoa! Creepy zombie thing lunging at me there. Luckily, they suck at aiming. Oh great, military. Just what I needed. But if you use the claws or just your bare hands or something, you're probably not gonna break that thing in time to prevent the monkey thing from coming out. And, ah, oh, karate kick fails me. That's bad. Ooh, at least it's working pretty well against the soldiers splattering them with a single kick. Like, how strong is Alex if he can just splatter a human with a flying kick like that? I mean, you'd expect him to just go off the building, but no, they're completely splattered all over the place. Not that I'm complaining, it adds to the gore of this game, which it has quite a lot of, if you haven't figured that out by now. Anyway, we're almost done with the water towers. Just a few more. See, there's the creepy hunter thing. Which looks like a dead unborn baby. Or is that uh, kind of the same thing, dead and unborn? No, I suppose not. You can be unborn and alive. And you can also be born and dead. And I'm not following my own line of thought anymore. So switch to the claws because they look hella cool when flying. Looks like he has sharp pointy wings on his arms. Like he's some sort of bird man or something. Anyway, there's the hive and it's puking up the same yellow stuff that we were rounding up moments earlier. And just run around collecting that and we should be... Whoa! Damn it, I thought we weren't gonna have to deal with hunters in this mission. Oh great, tanks. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Luckily I can hijack that and probably use it against the military and wow that animation is quite suggestive. Looked like it was humping the crap out of that thing. Anyway, tank is mine now. So, boom. One missile drops Hunter. Genius. Now, ooh, helicopter. Here, eat missile. Crap, it's not gonna hit. Oh, it is gonna hit. 
I thought that thing was way out of range for that. Good to know that the tank missiles in this game do not suck. Because in most games I've played that let you control tanks, if they even have missiles, they're probably not very good ones. Although I can't really remember any game that I've played that lets you drive tanks in it, other than this one in Prototype 2. But the tank is not going to be of any use to me because you can't pick up the yellow things while you're in the tank, so I have to bail out if I want to complete the mission. And I pretty much wrecked it so that no one else can use it anymore. I'm pretty sure that soldiers can't enter tanks once you've used them. I guess they don't want Alex's sloppy seconds. Hey, choppers. Great. Jump and karate kick. Aw, oh, come on. That thing just always seems to not have enough range to hit whatever you're trying to hit. And that is just lame. Oh, great strike team. Things are getting better and better. Jump, kick, and one kick is enough to destroy a helicopter. I'm not entirely sure how. Maybe he like rams his foot straight through the control panel or something, but I hit that thing square in the middle. There shouldn't be any vital parts there. Like I understand the helicopter goes down if you hit the propeller or the controls or anything, but the middle, I was like kicking in the cargo door. How does that instantly bring it down? And then again, I'm no expert on military helicopters, and I doubt anyone watching this is as well. So I guess that question will never be answered. Or maybe it will be if anyone has any collection connections to American military personnel that are involved with helicopters. Anyway, they're bringing out the big guns now, but I'm already only about halfway done. I've been at this for like five minutes. Jeez. Oh, it's down to 75%. Eh, should have plenty of time to round up the rest of this stuff. So yeah, they aren't really making this very hard on you. I mean, it is only the beginning of the game. Well, let's see, this is episode 5. Well, this LP has about 23 episodes, I think, so... We're about a fifth into the game. I don't really think you can call that the beginning anymore. Well, it is the... We aren't at the halfway point yet, so... What qualifies beginning? Ooh, lots of yellow stuff. Maybe if I can get all of that, then I'll be done with this. Running, 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 get the yellow things. They seem to vanish after a while. That's just freaking perfect. Ooh, 50%. I'm almost done anyway. Don't care. Screw you, tank. I will karate kick you and that doesn't do a damn thing. Luckily, Hammer Fist does. Lots of crap going on. Ooh, Chomper's almost about to go down. Karate kick! So cool. Oh, a little glitchy there. That was weird. Maybe I was stuck under the exploding helicopter or something. Anyway, we're done. Sweet. 22 upgrades unlocked. Oh, boy. Uh, let's check the upgrades out, I guess. Just, what do we have here? Ground spike upgrade. Ooh, whip fist power. I will get this. That is the best freaking power in the entire game. In my opinion. Uh, what else do I want to get? Let's see. Air recovery. No, probably not. Uh, wall jump latch. No. Why would I want to hang to walls when I can just run up walls instantly? Let's see. Sprinting throw. I think that might be useful. Grapple slam hunter dirt nap. Long range throw. Hmm. Although I don't have enough money or points for the long range throw. That sucks. Guess I'll just have to get more points. And those yellow things do kind of give me more. That's nice. Uh, yeah, as you may notice, this episode still goes on for a good three minutes, maybe? 
So what am I going to do in those three minutes? I honestly don't know because I haven't really watched this episode in advance. So, uh... Guess we'll just wing it from here. Oh, struggle for control, okay. Military is going to fortify strategic areas. Zone suffering of our loud break. Those are the hives and the military bases. Uh huh, okay. Destroy military bases to suppress military presence in that area. Uh mm hmm. Red infected zones, infected hives, temporarily suppress the infection in that area and gain huge EP bonuses. Well, I'm here anyway, and the military pretty much wrecked the shit out of that hive already, so I might as well finish the job. I don't need it anymore. So, hammer fist, let's bring down the ceiling. Unfortunately, I can't really see a health bar for the building. And you, will you please stop intervening, thank you? Here I'm trying to destroy your home, but that's no reason for you to intervene. You're just a dumb animal. And I'm not entirely sure, but this doesn't seem to be having a lot of effect. Other than attracting a lot of those things. And smash! And he didn't die. Now he does. Uh, yeah, don't think this is going to work. Is there like any leftover tanks down there? Do I have like a health bar? Oh, is that the health bar? Yeah, that didn't do a damn thing to the building. Looks like I need some heavier stuff. Like a bazooka. Boom. Oh, that's very effective. Yep. Gonna need a new bazooka though. Thank you. So yeah, there you have it. About four rockets can bring down an entire apartment block. I suppose. So there we go, we shouldn't have any more infected trouble in this area. Although it's probably... Boom, you die. And you. I don't like you, you're too far away. Oh, that was a hunter, I thought that was a soldier. I need to get my eyes examined. Anyway, they're calling in a strike team and that's the perfect opportunity to give the new power a whirl. Because this power excels at taking down helicopters. Now, as the name might have hinted already, the Whip Fist is a punching power. And Alex's arm stretches like a whip. It has amazing range and, as you can see, is great for dealing with choppers. And later on, when we can actually hijack helicopters, it's also a very useful tool to hijack them. Because you can just punch things from long range with it, you can also grab things from long range with it. And that is very useful. And it's also pretty much the go-to power for any boss fight. For pretty much all the boss fights you're gonna have in this game. Because, quite frankly, you don't face a whole lot of bosses, but the ones that you do are really annoying. And can I get that? Nope, it's not quite long enough. I do think you can upgrade the range, though, with a couple of upgrades that you'll get eventually. So we'll just glide down there back to Dana's place, and I think this is Dana's place at least. Can't really tell, the entire damn city looks alike. And get out of here. And there's the DC Comics billboard again. So I'd say that's about all it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Prototype. Bye-bye.